Guess what? It's officially summer. I had to show you guys in natural light this makeup look. This is literally the perfect summer makeup. It's lightweight and fresh, but it's something that's going to last all day. It's really easy to use and it's just foolproof. So if you guys want to see how to create this look, just keep on watching. Wow! Today I'm going to share with you the perfect summer makeup routine. These are all products that I keep going back to every year for summer. I just feel like they're reliable. I get excited to use them again. I feel like every season has a different energy to it and summer is always really exciting, especially this year. Winter was so long in Utah, so I'm really excited for some sunshine. So this routine is very lightweight, but it's beautiful. It looks flawless on the skin. It's going to last all day. These are just reliable products that I keep coming back to. Speaking of reliable products that I keep Keep going back to this video is sponsored by briogeo who you guys know i have loved and i have worked with for years literally over five or six years maybe longer at this point briogeo just launched something that i'm so excited about because if you know me and if you've watched my videos over the past few years when it comes to briogeo i am specifically obsessed with their superfoods line let me refresh your memory we've got the apple matcha and kale we have banana and coconut and then their newest launch was the mango cherry so these shampoos and conditioners have been in my routine for forever you guys so this new launch was so exciting for me specifically because look you guys they have jumbo refills now of their superfoods line which is so exciting for people like me because not only is a refill more sustainable because you can reuse their gorgeous packaging but also you get crazy savings with the jumbo refill pouches you get about 20 to 25 percent savings per ounce which is incredible i'm thrilled about these so next time you run low on your superfoods shampoo and conditioner all you need to do is take one of the jumbo refill pouches and you simply just pour it in and reuse the same bottle the reason why I've stuck with this brand for years is not only is it really fun to use and all of these scents are incredible but it actually works really really well on my hair their formulas are also clean and they're made for all different hair types no matter what you're looking for I feel like Briogeo has it the superfoods line has specifically captured my heart and now at this point it's like nostalgic for me so if you are a Briogeo superfoods shampoo and conditioner lover like I am you now never have to worry about running out ever again I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys and again you can get them in the mango and cherry which is what I use today. They also have the kale and apple shampoo and conditioner and of course the banana coconut so the choice is yours. Like I said I washed my hair with the mango cherry today and it just first of all it smells amazing but you can just see how shiny these products make my hair look. I stand behind them I have for years and I'm thrilled that they have the jumbo refills now so if you guys want to check them out again I'll have them in the description box down below. So let's get into our summertime makeup. I'm really excited about this because like I said I feel like summertime is a specific vibe. I feel like I've said this before on my channel but when it comes to fall, for example, I'm really excited because I feel like I can get away with a little more makeup. Spring for me is where I play with a little more color. Winter is like all about hydration and summer is like lightweight and long wearing. So that's what we're going to get into. In summertime, I also love multitasking products. So I'm going to go into the Super Goop Glow Screen in the shade Dawn. This is one of their more new products. Well, not really. It's one of their new shades in their existing product. But I love that it's a sunscreen, plus it works so incredibly well underneath makeup as a primer. I love this shade for myself specifically. It comes in a lot of different shades, but this one's more of like a champagne kind of pearly pink, which for my fair skin, I love. So I'm just applying this all over to prep the skin and to apply a sunscreen, which is always a plus because we can't forget our sunscreen in the summertime. While that kind of sits, I really, really wanted to revisit the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is specifically the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. This stuff is so good. Maybe you're the same, but I love to use tinted moisturizers in the summertime, but not all tinted moisturizers work well on me because I need longevity personally. If I'm gonna do my makeup, it needs to stay on my face. And that's the thing with this tinted moisturizer. It gives really nice coverage, but it lasts forever on the skin. And I've noticed that like for a tinted moisturizer, it has insane longevity. It literally looks the same at the end of the day as it does at the beginning of the day. And I've worn this on long days. Like I wore this to the airport once on a long travel day and I got to my hotel and it looked amazing. So that was enough for me to know that this is something that I would revisit every summer. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tinted moisturizers ever. I wear the shade 14W by the way. I'm just layering up a little more on the cheeks because I have a bit of redness there right now. And I'm just blending this out with a brush first. And then I'm gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand and press it in with my sponge. For concealer, I want something to be a little bit more lightweight and glowy, but I still wanna have the coverage that I feel like I need right now. 
being a new mom, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take the Exa Beauty High Fidelity Color Corrector in the shade Pink. And I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes. This is just gonna kind of color correct a little bit so that I don't have to use as much concealer. I feel like in the summertime too, my routine usually changes to where I don't want full, full coverage. Not because I don't like full coverage in the summertime, but it's just like if it's too hot and it starts to melt off, I feel like it's more obvious. So the more like sheer to medium coverage you go, the better I find that it looks if it does fade off or if you do sweat off your makeup a little bit because there's not gonna be as much of a stark line between your makeup and your skin if your skin is already shining through a little bit. That's my theory anyway. You guys know I've been loving this concealer for like a glowy everyday look. This is from Glowish. It's their Bright Light Sheer Concealer and it sure is a sheer concealer. That's why I like to use a little bit of color corrector underneath but I'm obsessed with how this looks underneath the eyes. I'm gonna kind of add a little bit more to my cheeks as well. And then I'm just gonna press that in with my sponge. And you can see how glowy that looks. All right, now I like to warm up the skin. And like I said, I love a good multitasking product. So these Dibs Contour and Blush Duos are a staple. This one is in the shade 2.5, which has this really nice kind of warm toned bronzer and then a cooler toned blush. Well, this is kind of more neutral, I guess. It looks great on the skin though. So I'm gonna take the bronzer slash contour side first and just warm it up on the back of my hand like that. And then I'm just gonna pick it up on a little more dense brush and just start to kind of like shape out and warm up the face using this product. And you can see the tone is really nice. I also feel like a lot of the shades work on a lot of different people because it has a little bit more of a sheer formula. So it's very easy to use. So whatever color you're inspired by, it's a very buildable formula. And I feel like each one works well on a variety of skin tones. I feel like bronzer makes all the difference, especially in summer. And especially since I'm somebody who, to be honest, like I don't really, let my face get in the sun very often. So I kind of have to fake it in the summertime. I don't get very tan, but kind of on purpose. I wear a lot of sunscreen and a lot of hats. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the other side of that, which is the gorgeous kind of bubblegum pink blush color. I'm gonna pick that up on a brush and just smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. I'm loving applying blush a little bit higher on the cheeks than I normally do, especially in the summertime. I just feel like it looks like the sun hit you from above, if that makes sense, to kind of get a little bit of pink higher up on the cheeks. I think it looks really good. I also love to kind of fake a sun-kissed look across the nose in the summer, like that. And I even will mix in some blush into my forehead a little bit as well, just again to kind of have that all over sun-kissed look. So you can see we're looking very glowy, which I do love, but also I need my makeup to have a bit of longevity. So I actually like to take a little bit more of a smoothing, blurring, not heavy duty, but like really good setting powder. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Blur Powder. This is the ultra blurring one. I just love this. And I'm gonna actually take that on a puff. You could use a lighter brush if you wanted less setting, but I personally like the T-zone to be locked in place. So I'm just gonna kind of press and roll that through the T-zone. I'm gonna leave the outside of the face nice and dewy. I don't mind if I have a little bit of glow on the outside of the face, but I definitely like to control the oils in the T-zone and on the sides of the nose. So I'm just gonna kind of take this powder through those areas that I like to have a little more matteness. Plus, I feel like in the summer, even when I do apply powder, my natural oils come through a little more if it's hot outside. So I feel like I can actually get away with a little more powder. And then when the natural oils come through, if I sweat a little bit, it actually looks like skin. It looks like I'm not really wearing powder, but it helps the makeup stay in my T-zone. Another little trick I love to do is after powder, I'll take a little more of the cream blush and lightly press over top. So it has even more of a skin-like finish and it moves into the powder a little more seamlessly. Let's go to brows now. In the summertime, I just need a reliable pencil that's not gonna budge. For me, it's the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. What's new? I've used this for years. So I'm just gonna fill in the brows with this. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Dibs Contour on a little eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna use this to kind of sculpt out the crease and a little bit above, just to add a bit of shape there before going in with some eyeshadow. Hold on, I'm gonna take a little bit of blush and apply that through the crease first, since I'm gonna use 
a liquid eyeshadow today. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so if you're not about that, you could stop here and just go straight into mascara. But I'm obsessed with these Lisa Eldridge liquid eyeshadows. I just feel like they last all day. It's a really quick and easy way to make something so beautiful on the eyes. And for daytime, just use a little less. That's what I love about these. You can really amp it up and smoke these out if you want to, but for daytime, you just do a little bit and kind of blend and blur that up toward the crease and you have like the most beautiful little bronzy shimmer eye that won't budge. It's everything. Look how pretty, I love it. We'll do the same thing over on this eye. By the way, the shade I'm using is Emily, but I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of her shades. They're all incredible, but this one's great for every day. But you can imagine how pretty it looks when you really amp it up in the evening. So it's a good thing to pack like on vacation in the summer, I feel like, because you can get multiple different vibes with the same eyeshadow, and it's just so easy to work with. I'm blending a bit of that along the lower lash line because I like a little bit of sparkle along the lower lash line, like that. How pretty. Summertime means you gotta have a pretty heavy duty mascara. And for me, it's this one from Cali Ray. I love it so much. It's a tubing mascara. It's also a clean formula. It doesn't go anywhere. This is like my go-to if I know I'm gonna be sweating. This is what I reach for. So I'm gonna pop that on the lashes. We're literally almost done. See how easy this look is? I'm just wiping off any foundation that got on the lips. And for me, a summer lip is lip liner and a balm or a gloss. So I'm gonna take the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liner in the shade Pink Sand. Doesn't that just feel like a summery lip liner color? Pink Sand, so cute. I'm gonna take this and I'm kind of using it as lipstick. This is a super creamy formula. So I can color in my lips really easily with it. How pretty is that? I'm obsessed. And then nothing screams summer like Summer Fridays, am I right? Their tinted lip balms are to die for. This is in the shade Pink Sugar. So I'm gonna add this on top and I just love a good lip balm in the summertime because it looks like a gloss, but it's not gonna wear off weird, you know? All right, we're gonna assess the situation and I'm gonna take what's left on the bronzer brush and just kind of tap it on the forehead a little bit. See, I don't even think I need highlighter. I was gonna put highlighter on, but now that I see my skin, with all those cream products, I'm, I don't think I need it at all. Also gonna take a little bit more blush cause I'm a blush gal. Just kind of pop that on the cheeks a little bit more. And then I like to make sure that I've got a good setting spray. And this one just feels like summertime to me. It smells good. It's literally called the Surf Proof Setting Spray. Plus it works really well. We're gonna lock everything in with this. Smells like coconut, it's so good. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge to kind of press that in. And when I'm getting ready in a pinch, I'll just take the puff that I used with the same powder. And after setting spray, just make sure to re-lock in the areas that I really don't want too much shine, which for me is, again, the T-zone. And then I personally can't live without a little clear brow gel. I've been loving this one from Anastasia. It's just their clear brow gel. This is like a classic. I know it's been around for forever and so many people love it, but I didn't try it till like this month, so. I'm a new fan. This to me screams summer. I love it so much. It's dewy, it's fresh. It like looks like enough, but not too much. It's just the perfect everyday summer routine, in my opinion, with products that I know work really well on me and will last all day. So I hope you guys love the look as much as I do. Again, if you wanna amp up your summer routine with your hair care routine, you gotta check out the Briogeo Superfoods line. You can't go wrong with any of them, but I'm personally loving the mango cherry all over again. It just like clarifies the hair, it smells amazing, and I feel like it helps me go longer between washes. And if you're already a fan of the Superfoods collection, don't forget to check out the new Jumbo refills. These are incredible. I'm so happy that they made these, genuinely, because you get so much in here for so much less. The value's insane on this and you get to refill your cute little bottles. Who doesn't want that? So yeah, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Be sure to check it out. And thanks to Briogeo for sponsoring today's video. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.